Today, you'll get to travel inside the human body. Now, get inside the capsule. Three, two, one. Now, you're just the right size and good to go. Let's sneak in through the ear canal. Oh, it's pretty tight, even for the tiny capsule. The outer ear catches the sound wave. Next stop, the eardrum. It's about half the size of a dime. Oh, what was that? The eardrum starts vibrating. Moving on to the middle ear, things are getting too loud here. Look at all those hairs around. They move and bend and then the real magic happens. Vibrations turn into nerve impulses here. And this must be the cochlea. It's pretty wet in here. It's all filled with fluid and it's getting stormy. The map says I'm going through the auditory nerve at the moment. Next stop, the brain. Whoa! Now I understand why they pack sunglasses in the capsule. It's so bright and sparkly in here. Ooh, all those trees look like they come straight out of a sci-fi movie. Wow, just the slightest touch and it sparkles up like lightning. Now, these must be the neurons. There are about 100 billion of them, about as many as the stars in the Milky Way. I think I want to activate the slow down mode. The speeds in here are crazy, up to 250 miles per hour, like sports cars. That was bright. Neurons send somewhere between 5 and 50 messages every second. Neurons work so hard they produce enough energy to light up a low voltage LED bulb. Speaking of light bulbs, I've got one with me. Ooh, let's see if it works. Yay! Let's hang on here and watch. That's quite a show. Information transmission in progress. Just one neuron can't do much by itself, so they work together as teams passing data through electrical and chemical signals. This is the cerebrum, the largest part of the brain. It interprets your senses of vision, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. You can feel different emotions and learn new things thanks to it. Moving on to the little brain. It receives data from the sensory systems and the spinal cord and is in charge of the motor movements. So, thanks to it, you can walk without falling, have good posture, and even speak like me. The central nervous system is responsible for literally everything you do. The signals to and from the brain travel here in less than a millisecond. Whoosh, that was it. Both your brain and spinal cord are naturally protected by bones. And I think I want to explore those as well. Getting around that system should be pretty simple, since every bone, except for the one at the base of your tongue, is connected to some other bone. 